Welcome, welcome. California 2, Electric Boogaloo. Let's uh, not embarrass ourselves like last time we did this map. I didn't even put a, I didn't even put a time limit on the round. Whoops. I'll make sure this is not an hour, two hour long video then. I will try to uh, recuse myself to uh, roughly whatever we did last time. Five or seven minutes. Something like that. Try to make my guesses quickly. Thunderbird Road. Wow. It's a hell of a name. We got mountains to the east. Nothing to the west. Thinking maybe, well, no. If those were the white mountains, this would be Owens Valley and we would see something on the other side. We got an area code on a phone number here. 760. Well, license bond of California license. Okay. 760 is, uh, sounds Southern California, which, uh, it's not a big help. I already figured this is probably Southern California. Oh, Jesus. It all of a sudden got much brighter. Move on to the road here. Oh, yeah, give me the Navajo and Thunderbird. Yeah, okay. Navajo. Well, there's no Navajo populations that are en endemic to the California area, so I'm going to assume if it actually is a place that has some sort of Navajo influence uh naturally then that it's got to be something like needles near the near the border with uh Arizona having the mountains there throws me off though to the east cuz really what that means is that you know there's the mountains all over here San Bernardino San Antonio San Jacinto Santa Rosa mountains and then we're in some place like Hemet or Temecula looking east and everything. But, you know, needles would be oh, over here. There's needles. Um, what's that road? Carlisle. Carlisle? No, I'm thinking of Carlsbad. Actually, there is a Carlisle. Isn't that where Legoland is? No, it's in Carlsbad. Duh. Wow. Just not proving my knowledge of this at all right now. I'm not from Southern California. But, uh... would be great as if it said that, you know, whatever road we're on, Navajo or Thunderbird or something, ran contiguous with the California State Route. We could at least look for. I mean, this is, oh, what, is that a, is that a park sign? No, that's just telling me that we're in Value. Oh, come over here. Oh, there's a 760. Apple Valley, California. Highway 13. Well, Apple Valley is... Uh, there's Apple Valley. We're thinking Apple Valley. Well, that's from Apple Valley. It does not mean it's <laughs> we're in the Apple Valley. Could be making a delivery. Well, actually, wait. What, what business was that? It's like a flower delivery service or something. I don't think they probably come all the way from Apple Valley. Shamrock Flowers. Yeah, so I'm thinking we probably are in Apple Valley then. There's Navajo Road. 
Navajo Road, Thunderbird Road. Let's get back to uh, Cross Street. This is not a cross street. This is a long street, though. Is this where we, uh... Oh, we've, we've gone over five minutes, but we haven't gone over seven minutes. Zuni and Dakota. Okay. Dakota runs into Thunderbird, because that's how we got to Thunderbird. There's Dakota. Zuni is at the other side, so we're gonna go middle of the map we are a long way from Zuni how far from Thunderbird are we is that Thunderbird right there yeah so we're looking at like what one two three four five We're, we're at least like three empty lots in. Well, okay. Um, what we got is like a ranchette right there that's a pretty boxy shape. I think that might be that L-shaped house that we see right there. Because there's a, a room behind the garage there. Potentially. What do we got on this side? We got, well, an L-shaped house with a thing in the front and a detached garage. Okay. That should help, right? That shows up on the map. There's a house with a detached garage. I don't see another house with a detached garage on that side, so I'm going to go there. There we go. Boom. Detached garage. That's how we do it. Let's, uh... Let's load in here, hopefully, please. What's that say? Does that say Palomar? Entering Palomar Resource conservation district. Okay, so Palomar, that's near San Diego. Right? <clears throat> There's Palomar Mountain. Yeah, roughly. Okay. Is that where the town of Palomar is, though? Am I thinking, like, Poe or Palamesa? Okay. We're in roughly the right area. Let's go down the mountain then. Oh, is this a freeway right here? This is a highway. We're on a frontage road to a highway, to a major highway. Ugh. Deer Springs Road, Mountain Meadow Road, exit 37. This must be on the 76. Deer Springs Road, Mountain Meadow Road. Oh, what? which way is that highway going? That's going north-south. Would, would there be more than 37 exits on 15 before we get to Pala Mesa? But it looks like a big highway. Let's let's just check, I guess. Rainbow Valley Road. Rainbow Valley Boulevard. Uh, do, do, do. Rainbow Valley Boulevard. Old Highway 393. Stewart Canyon. Highway 76. Yeah, I don't know if this... I don't think this is going to be Highway 76. But, uh... Let's try and get on the... 
the highway here. So it could at least tell us. The game ever decided to load. Jesus. We'd never know if there was an on ramp. We, of course, don't don't even know what. Uh, Or what what current road we're on? Well, so, see, there's the highway up there as well. I'm wondering if it's fast to go the other way. No, because it it turned away from the freeway. Going up the mountain, right? Is there a blue highway sign? Oh, that just says call box. Okay. Hmm. Road sign. Come on, load in, you son of a bitch. Welk Resort Center, half a mile. Is there a Welk Resort Center? 76? Palma Valley Lodge, Casino Palma. Well, I mean, see, that's the other thing, is wherever we are, is we have to meet, is we are on a frontage road that is, oh, um, on the east side of the freeway, that's the west side of the freeway. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, we're, whatever it is, it's gonna be on. It's gonna be on a major highway. Camino del Rey. Go for Canyon Road. This doesn't exactly. Look, oh, there's Lawrence Welk Lane, Lawrence Welk Resort. Welk Resort Center. There you go. So we're on Champagne Boulevard. Ziegler Jeff Electric. Is that what this place is? No, this is just a it's a private gated community, it looks like. Oh, hold on. Deer Springs Road. How long did it say till Deer Springs Road? It's the next exit, Mountain Meadow and Deer Springs Road. I mean... Oh, Champagne Village? You think maybe that's this? Half a mile to Wilk Resorts? Do we see anything like that? It didn't say how long till 
did it. Didn't say like half a mile or something. And this didn't have a sign on it that said Champagne Village or anything, did it? What does that say? Member? Whatever that says, it's not Champagne Village. It's FB. Whatever it is. I think we're closer to over here. Because that's saying that it's coming right up. The, uh... Highway there. And we're curving away from the freeway there. What does that say? Yes, yeah, so this is the on-ramp and the everything so yeah I think we are just about right there oh no we were close to, oh I was thinking we're finally gonna get a perfect 25,000 round on California I spent so much I spent so much extra time on that like two or three extra minutes Completely broke my promise to you guys about making this not an hour long episode, pacing myself, recusing myself to smaller amounts of data. And what do I do? I go and uh, go and screw that up, and I don't even get 5,000 points for it. Town Nursery, 951. Mm, 951 area code. Well, that's got to be Southern California, too. I tend to say that's Central Valley. I'm thinking a uh, six five one is or six five zero is East Bay up to Sacramento. Lee and Associates. Okay. Emperor Road. I mean, this is a good, like, uh, you know, well, not good. It's mollification, that sort of thing. But it's a shopping center. Oh. Homeland, population 5969. Elevation 201 or 2001. Twelve ninety one. Okay. From the high three hundreds, Jesus, okay. Up to three thousand square feet for three hundred from the high three hundreds, Jesus. When was this picture taken? That tells it's in it's one of the shittiest parts of California, huh? Homeland. Let me throw that over there. Homeland being a place with 5,000 people makes me think having it about that means I should definitely be able to see it. Because I'm definitely seeing towns that are smaller than that. California City, Tehachapi, things like that. Zizix, that's a tiny ass town. So if we see Homeland, we see it at least this zoomed in. I guess it could be over towards McFarland Bakersfield area. That's a crappy part of California. Sorry for people who live in the Central Valley, but you know it. I don't need to tell you twice. I, no, it wouldn't be up in the Owens Valley, I don't think. It's 
too flat. We well, I mean, there's mountains there. There's mountains there. There's mountains to the east and west of us. I guess we could be in the Owens Valley. Briggs Road. Briggs and Highway 74. Can we just see Highway 74? Is that further south? 78. 11, 95, 78. Three ninety five, fourteen, fifty eight, one seventy eight, one ninety. Highway seventy four. Looking for Highway seventy four. Highway fourteen. No. Won't be in Los Angeles proper. Highway seventy nine. Highway 74, there we go. Homeland, there we go. Let's get back to the uh, road there. Do we remember what the name of the damn road was? Emperor Road was near us. What, uh, oh, we were at like the... It, well, is that Emperor? That's Emperor. So we were on 74. There's Briggs. There's that development right there. Big open field. This development, Highway si or, uh, Emperor Road, was down there. Or was Emperor Road down there? No. We're further back towards... The development on the north end of the road and Highway 74 is east-west. Where's Heritage High School? Oh, there's Heritage High School. Oh, we were on Briggs Road, that's why. What? No, that doesn't make sense. Heritage High School was on the other side of that. Marion v. Ashley Community Center. Didn't we just... Did, weren't we on the on Emperor Road? The Menifee Ranch Self Storage and RV. Okay. So we're on an empty field. To the north and the south are two home developments. We went to the south. We found... Ah, we turned onto this road is what happened. State Highway 74 and Sultanus Road. Okay. Sultanus Road. There we go. Almost 5,000 points. Round four. Oh, we're finally in Northern California, it looks like. The hell of an overpass for Northern California, so, uh. It's gotta be a good. We could be on I 5. We're up in what looks to be like Sierra Foothills. I mean, we're in like Placer County. Sort of northeast of Sacramento. Throw us in... Yeah, sure. Throw us in Grass Valley for now. That's probably not where we are exactly. Be a hell of a guess. I'll tell you that.
you know, with the size of the road, we we absolutely got to be on I-5. There's, on, there's only one road that looks like this. It's, it's got to be I-5. It's got to be further north. It's got to be up near Shasta. Well, we're about to find it. Well, hopefully about to find it. Oh, what's that say? Not that this is going to be... Yeah, Watson Trucking Company. Okay. Well, that is utter horseshit. Is it a green highway sign down there? No. That was some sort of sign right there though. Let's check that out. Oh, that's just a speed limit sign. No, there was another sign with red writing. We saw it. There's no way that was the only sign. Can't even believe it. There we go. Highway sign, come on, don't fail me now. Where are we? Oh, you son of a... There we go. Oh. Uh, there we go. Come on. Load in. Oh, Brian Shasta Caverns Road. That is O'Brien. Shasta Caverns Road. Shasta Caverns Road. Okay, Turntable Bay. We've done, we've gone across the bridge, likely. We didn't see we didn't see any of it, so we're on this fork of the road at least. North Woods Road. North Woods Road. O'Brien Oaks Shasta Caverns Road, okay. It's possible we never saw it. Be well, okay, no, because we definitely went through an intersection overpass here. Must have been like Northwoods Road or something. This one. We need a uh, confirmation of what road this is. That's what we need. Well, that's the on ramp for what road? The off ramp for a road, it'll tell us, right? Exit 698, thank you. We gotta get further up the road then.
Can't find next exit, trail, and RV park. Well, I don't... No, that can't possibly it. It has to be... It has to be over here. This has to be, like, North Woods Road, and then maybe... It doesn't say the name of the damn road, though. Further back, it's gonna have to say... Exit 698 Lodging. Well, it's not gonna tell me Exit 698, and I'm not gonna count the 697 previous exits on I-5, so... There we go. There's there's a major sign. Thank you. Road sign. Salt Creek Road, Gilman Road. Salt Creek Road, Gilman Road. Which way were we going? We were going... Well, we were going south to... Okay. That explains things not lining up exactly. Salt Creek. Gilman Road. So what's that underpass, underpass overpass that we saw? Oh, no, that's Salt Creek and Gilman. Trail in RV camp. So we were up here near Gregory Creek Road, is what it was. Going south, and there's Gregory Creek Road. No, because we went north, and it's saying one mile till Gilman. Maybe that's Conflict Point Road. We started up here. That must be what it is. Here we go. Forty-nine ninety-eight. Oh shit! You know what? I was all excited at the very beginning the second round. We were going to get 5,000 every time. And then I settled for it. You know what? We're going to get pretty darn close. We've been two points off for two rounds, eight points off for one round, a perfect 5,000. Now we're going to be 3,000 points off because everywhere in the damn Central Valley looks the same. It runs up all a goddamn, up and down all a goddamn California. It could be it could be up here in Redding. It could be all a goddamn down here in Bakersfield or even fucking Lanc well, probably not Lancaster. Thing about it, this thing goes on for goddamn, you know, miles. And they're all they're all unnamed roads too. They're like road they're like county road two fifty seven. It's like how the hell am I supposed to figure that out if you won't tell me what damn county it is? Anyway, Central Valley rant over. Let's see. Mm. trespassing 
great. I wasn't planning on trespassing. Doesn't look like it's worth it for me to trespass. Actually, although I will say this about the Central Valley. Is that you can actually get some pretty darn good stargazing out there in some of the more rural parts. That's just, you know, where all it is is just this. Maybe one or two lights. It's probably some of the easiest accessible good uh, night sky viewing in in California because everywhere else you got to go way up into the damn mountains for it's tough to get to rain gate rain gate number three speed limit 10 oh main gate number three that makes a little more sense what the hell is a rain gate Morning, private property, no trespassing. Okay, we are on Valprado and Shallock Road. Wow. You know, our reputation is my reputation. Not you guys. Is my reputation is at stake here. We need to have a good round on this, especially in the Central Valley. You can never find yourself in the Central Valley, even though everything's on a grid. Thing is, also we're going north now, so we could be going for 300 miles before we see a crossroad. Yep. Okay. I should say a major crossroad. Copus Road, okay. Copus Road, it's got some paving. We shall go west. Oh, this is a power station. It should say what power station is. it is on it. Is that a PG&E logo? Hold on. That's a PG&E logo. Okay, so we're not in the southern half of this. And what, maybe Fresno North? We're looking at. Throw it in Chowchilla. I don't know. This place looks sad. I'm going to throw it in the shittiest place I know. Merced. Growing food, wasting water. Uh, growing almonds is. You want to talk about the California drought, you can't not talk about almonds. Old River Road. Well, speaking of almonds. Should we be going north? Is there civilization that way? I can't tell. Ashley ain't fucking nothing that way. Although, as I said before, in the Central Valley, I hate going north-south. You can go ages and ages without finding a decent crossroad, and it'll just lead you to nowhere. Whereas east west, at some point you're gonna hit some you're gonna hit a mountain or you're gonna hit another mountain.
phrase. Okay. Hoping that'd be some kind of good advice truck. Good advice truck, exactly, that's what I meant. It's just, it's just absolutely endless. I mean, we've gone on for 40, 41 minutes now here. I don't want to call the episode. Is this the, uh, I was going to say, is this the Pat Brown Canal? It's not the Pat Brown Canal. Because it ends there. And I know the Pat Brown Canal doesn't end. It does, but in the extreme south of California, and this is, we've already established it's not the extreme south. We've got PG&E. Although, they may service all of the Central Valley, though. But PG&E, Pacific Gas and Electric, they service... Mostly Northern California. The, the LA has its own power. Uh, a lot of Southern California. San Diego has its own power grid. People they don't use PG&E. We're on a oh. There's I-5. North-south on 5. Free entrance going south on 5. Yeah, I want to know what this road is. That no, no, let me get on the road. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Holy crap. I think we might actually be in Merced. There we go. Come on. Old River Road, exit 234 coming north. Mm, okay. So let's see. I'm I mean at a guess. So we saw exit exit 698 up uh up here. So, 294, actually, you know, that might be in the stretch between Fresno and Merced. There we go, there we go, there's 100 miles south of Los Angeles, junction with 166 at in 8 miles. 100 miles to Los Angeles. Visalia? Well, that's the 99. Look at that 5. Junction with 166. 46. There's 166. Junction with 166. Old River Road. Copus Road. Basic School Road. You see what I tell you about these grids, though? Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. We would have already gone, Pat. Wait, are we, are we really this south? Jesus. Valpredo. Valpredo. Shalek. Do we start on Valpredo? We went like the absolute opposite way then. It's like we could have gone the other way. Easy. 
Winter Cell. So we're north south or uh, east west. Oh, shit! Really? Oh my god! We've been doing this round for what ten minutes now. Could have literally walked it right over here and found the found the damn overpass for Valpredo Avenue. Jesus Christ. That's got a fucking sting. Oh, we're on the other side there. 49.89. Shit. That was our worst. It's our worst round yet. Okay. 46 minutes. That wasn't. Told you guys it wouldn't be an hour. I'll see you guys next time.